Israel-Iran War News Now Prime Minister Netanyahu If it takes it, Israelis will battle using nothing more than their fingernails. On Thursday, May 9, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu seemed to reject U.S. President Joe Biden's promise to cut off some weapons shipments to Israel in the event of an attack on Rafah, stating that Israel was ready to stand alone if required. To reiterate what I have previously stated, Netanyahu threatened to use his fingernails in a video statement if necessary. Yet our strength of spirit, with God's support, will lead us to victory. We have far more than what we seem to have. These remarks came after U.S. President Joe Biden warned that Israel would face a halt to weapon shipments if it invaded Rafah, a city in southern Gaza that is home to over a million displaced Palestinians. Concerns over Rafah prompt U.S. to halt bomb shipments to Israel. This week, Israeli tanks took control of the Palestinian side of the Rafah border crossing with Egypt and are now exploring the fringes of the city. Israel captures strategic crossing in Rafah after sending tanks there. Israel claims four battalions of Hamas fighters are based in the city, but Netanyahu has so far refrained from ordering forces to invade the area, despite increasing international pressure to agree to a truce to on Thursday. The man said that a Japanese family court had granted permission for him to take his same-sex partner's last name, ruling that the couple is in a marriage-like relationship. Tokyo has begun to accept applications for same-sex partnerships. Under the alias Akakazu Takami, a man in his 30s expressed his satisfaction with the sincerely handled matter by the Nagoya family court in its verdict of March 14. According to Takami's attorney, it is unusual for a court to grant a surname change to a same-sex pair if they are determined to be in a relationship like marriage. The lawyer claimed that the ruling will broaden alternatives for same-sex couples in Japan, where same-sex marriages are not yet legally recognized. Japan does not recognize civil unions or marriages between people of the same sex. On the other hand, the country's civil code stipulates that married couples must share a last name. The couple, who are taking care of a foster child, are supporting each other and sustaining stable lives centered on childrearing, said presiding judge Yukio Suzuki of the court in his ruling. The lawyer claims that their lifestyles are very similar to those in heterosexual couples. It is socially acceptable to provide the same level of legal protection as heterosexual couples to a certain degree, to the extent that the current law permits, the judge said, mentioning that there is growing awareness about same-sex couples in Japan and that some foreign countries recognize same-sex marriage. The lawyer claims that Takami and another guy in his 30s from Aichi Prefecture in central Japan go by the alias Toshimasa Ono. Takami requested a change of surname in November of last year and the two men live together. Official paperwork lists Takami as the foster parent, but according to the lawyer, he has not come out as gay to anyone around him. Takami stated in court that he was worried about having to explain his relationship with his girlfriend in emergency situations, including when he needed to go see his sick child. Separately, Ono and Takami have sued the government of Japan in the Nagoya District Court claiming that the failure to recognize same-sex marriage violates the Constitution and seeking monetary damages for the failure to do so. The district court denied their request for compensation in May of last year, despite ruling that same-sex marriage recognition is unconstitutional. The couple has decided to appeal the decision.